In this project, I am going to show you how you can use the push button as an input. So this is a simple project that I'm going to use. When I don't touch any of these buttons over here, the red LED is going to glow. And if I touch the push button over here on RB0, then the uh, green LED will glow. So this is a pretty easy project that we are going to make okay and now here is the schematic uh, from the beginning of the video now i showed you that i had one uh, red led and i showed you that i had one red uh, green and when uh, the program was working uh, red led flashed by default but when i uh, push the button over here then the green LED works so this is basically a video where I'm going to show you how you can configure a pin on a register in particular this video clip RB0 as an input so it reads an input and uh, you know it, it in um, so it depends on the input what are you going to have as an output so this LED is over here are obvious on the outputs and here we have a push button on the LED on the register B uh, so how does this actually first of all how does this actually work so when this switch here is opened then the voltage level is or the logic uh, level over here is gonna be grounded so uh, therefore it reads zero on the input so when I push the LED, sorry, uh, then the current passes through the resistor and here then I have a logic high level that comes from the power supply and therefore I have a green LED. Now let me just show you the program, how this is going to work. So first of all, here is the program. Now void main, this is uh, like in the previous video, it just starts the program and the everything happens over here and the curly bracket uh, it's over here are uh, where is the, um, are the beginning and the end of the program now Ansel and Ansel H we uh, talked about it in the previous video I said what are they for in this particular microcontroller they're used to configure all uh, the pins digitally or analog and that's it but not, not all microcontrollers have this so you have to look at the data sheet of the microcontroller that you have now uh, here I have uh, this trice B dot F0 so what does this mean that means that the register trice B the register trice B and the pin the zeroth pin of the uh, uh, register over here is gonna be configured as an input so when I uh, I uh, when I put here a one that means that is an input over here if you don't know how you can uh, remember uh, one is like I in alphabet and it's like input and zero is like uh, O in output so that's how I remembered what's an input and what's an output so if i configure uh, trees and uh, as a and um, put one that's an input to the microcontroller and below that i have uh, trice d over here i put the whole register as an output uh, everything is zero so it's okay and at the beginning I put the output on the port D as zero so when the program starts it is initially zero but here I already have a forever loop now uh, if I put while and in brackets number one that means this will loop will end, uh, last forever now here I have two if statements so first of all it says here if I put a logic one if uh, on the port B or, or, and the RB0 uh, it's gonna flash 
uh, the red LED is, or the uh, green LED is gonna flash. So port D zero or sorry two is equal to uh, binary. Let me just uh, find the numbers. I hope you know uh, binary numbers. So when I have an one on the output, that is gonna be um, logical high. So let me just find that. So here I have decimal number two, and that is zero 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 one zero. Uh, on the last, it is one zero. So that port, the pin RD one, is going to be high when I push this button. And when the button, or sorry, when the logical input on uh, pin RB0, so this is the port register and this is the pin. So F0 is the pin. If it's zero, so if I bring a logical zero to that particular pin, then the port D is gonna read one. And when I see the number, that symbol number one, here we have number one zero seven zeros and one that means that uh rd zero is gonna be high and it is gonna uh flash this uh, led uh red led diode okay so when i start the program over here here you have the green led and then when i the when the switch is opened then there is a logical zero so in protos this blue uh, rectangle is logical zero and here we have logical high on the rd zero so this is the program you can uh, copy in the description but uh, i also said you can play a little bit around put more leds somewhere else uh, try a new uh, pin to be as an input so you could uh, you should practice by yourself so that is it for this particular video i hope you learned something how you can uh, configure any pins on the register as an input and that's that's it so thank you very much and see you in my next video or tutorial or uh, project goodbye